What's up, amigos? Today we're looking at the aerodynamics of a pickup truck. This one's a Chevrolet one, and we have the wire plane going through. I just want to back it up to the start because we can see at the front we have a very high wake. This is the vortex coming out of the wheel housing. We have one near the wheel as well, the tire. The float underneath goes very quickly. It's accelerating a lot. There are really two wakes, one from the actual cab part and one from the, um, the bed part. Most cars don't have just two. They have only really one with a wake. This is a streamlined orbit. We have another streamline over after this, which is really cool. This one goes from left to right and 0 to 25 meters per second as we rotate around. Actually, first you can see these streamlines, they sort of go underneath the, the mirror a little bit, but they stay fairly straight. You can see these streamlines coming out of this wheel housing. So remember how we saw in the other one, uh, quite a big weight coming out of there. That's because the wheel housing isn't really taken up very much by these wheels. The wheels are fairly small compared to the wheel housing. Let's rotate these bad boys. Now the back is pretty good. I mean, obviously you have two major wakes, but there isn't too much of a roll up anywhere. And then the flow coming from the wheels really skip the other back wheel. So that's pretty nice. Everything stays pretty straight. So like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. And do you want a super easy way to make your experiments more accurate? It's really easy. Just measure the temperature, barometer pressure, and humidity of the air you are using. Most aerodynamics assume, they assume that the air is 1.2 or 1.225 kilograms on a given day, but it's not. Every day is different. Here are some graphs showing it can easily be 2 or 3% different every day. So if you want to make your experiments 2 or 3% more accurate, make your life easy, and get out Atmosphere Hawk. It accurately measures the temperature, barometer pressure, and humidity and gives you a very accurate density. Link in the description. Peace out, amigos.